Hello everybody, in this video we are going to talk about the trichromatic theory and the opponent process theory. So these are two theories that are associated with the mechanism of observing various colors. So let's start with the trichromatic theory. So if we break this word down, trichromatic, tri is three and chroma is color. As the name suggests, this theory, it revolves around three colors. These three colors are blue, red and green. Now, according to this theory, all of us, we have three types of cones in our eye and the cones are classified based on the wavelength that they are sensitive to. The blue cone is sensitive to low wavelength. Red cone is sensitive to high wavelength. And the green cone is sensitive to a medial range of wavelength. Therefore, the blue cone is the most sensitive cone, while the red cone is the least sensitive cone. The trichromatic theory states that when wavelengths that enter the eye, they will stimulate the three types of cones. So here we have wavelengths entering the eye and they are going to stimulate the three cones. So based on the wavelength that is coming and stimulating the cones there will be a varying degree of stimulation in the three cones so let's say we have a yellow colored object that's reflecting light and this reflected light is coming to stimulate the cones the cones have now got stimulated after getting stimulated based on the various degrees of stimulation they are going to pass on these stimulations to the brain. Let's say this is the brain. So the brain over here is going to add up these stimulations by the blue, red and green cone. And upon adding these stimulations, it perceives that the color that we are seeing is yellow. So the basic thing that happens in the trichromatic theory is that we have an object with a color, it reflects light, this is the light and this light enters our eye, it goes to stimulate the three cones. Now the cones get stimulated based on the type of light that is being reflected. So the three cones will have varying degree of stimulations. These stimulations are then passed on to the brain. The brain sums up all these stimulations within it and finally deduces the color which is yellow in this case. So this is the trichromatic theory. So this theory, it works just fine. But it works fine until there were a few more phenomenon that it couldn't explain. So let's look at one such phenomenon that the trichromatic theory could not explain. I request you to stare at this black dot over here for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, I want you to look up at the wall that's in front of you. So let's start this activity. Look at the wall in front of you. What did you observe? You should have been able to see a green star on your wall. So this phenomenon of staring at a red star for a while and then observing a green star on the wall is known as after image. Now this phenomenon, it certainly cannot be explained by the simple trichromatic theory which just states that there is an intermixing of uh, stimulations by the three cones and this intermixing will then give us a color. Now to explain such complex processes, the opponent process theory was bought in. So this theory, which is the opponent process theory, it states that the ability of humans to perceive colors is controlled by receptor complexes. This is one receptor complex that I have drawn over here. Receptor complexes are complexes that have Opposing traits. For example, this receptor complex over here, it has red and green. Red and green are opposing colors. 
similarly we in our body have these kind of receptor complexes wherein one complex is for red and green the other is for blue and yellow which are again opposing colors so we have several such complexes for opposing colors our mind can register only one stimulus at a time so while staring at the red star we stimulated this complex in our body which is the red green complex so while stimulating the red green complex the red color got stimulated because that was the stimulus we were providing it and since it's an opposing complex green will naturally get opposed or deactivated so for 30 seconds we were stimulating red and deactivating green we shifted our focus from the screen to the wall in front of us so while doing this there is no stimulus for red color now hence for this brief moment of shift from the screen to the wall the red color which is this color of the complex was deactivated so when red gets deactivated green gets activated because it's an opposing complex hence staring at the wall deactivated red but instantaneously activated green hence we could see a green star on the wall the trichromatic theory is only stating that activation of these three receptors is sufficient for us to get a color stimulus on the other hand the opponent process theory states that we have certain complexes with opposing actions there is activation of one component of this complex and deactivation of the other in order to perceive any kind of color so this was the trichromatic theory and the opponent process theory i hope this video was helpful in clearing the concepts of these two theories that's all we have for today thank you